The bat, the flying mammal. They're a pretty common sight in caves, both in Minecraft and real life. But on 2B2T, the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft, bats are on the brink of extinction. For a variety of reasons, the server hasn't spawned them in the world for many years, to the point that even name-tagged bats have become incredibly rare. But their extinction has gone unnoticed, because they're one of those mobs you don't really go out of your way to find. They don't drop anything, you can't breed them, and the only thing they're good at is potentially getting you killed by a warden. So I wanted to investigate, why don't bats spawn anymore on 2B2T? Is it still possible to find any in the wild? And the biggest question of all, exactly how many are left? Well, through personal exploration, gathering player testimony, and collaborating with a massive data collection project, we were able to find out, and the number was even lower than I was expecting. So let's talk about why bats are facing extinction on 2B2T. Before we get started, I'd like to thank Honey for sponsoring today's video. Online shopping is meant to be easy, so why is finding coupon codes that actually work so hard? With Honey, it doesn't have to be. Honey is the free online shopping tool that helps you find promo codes and applies them to your shopping cart automatically. When you're checking out on websites for things like food delivery or online shopping, a little box will drop down. Click Apply Coupons and it scans the internet for promo codes and BOOM! You could save money. No matter what you enjoy purchasing online, it'll make the shopping experience more fun. If you don't want to waste money, make sure to get Honey. It doesn't cost anything, finds coupons with a click, and also works with PayPal and Venmo. It's legit. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash fitmc. That's joinhoney.com slash fitmc. Thanks again to Honey for sponsoring today's video. So why are bats facing extinction on 2B2T? Well, I began investigating this issue about a month ago. During one of my sessions, I realized that I couldn't remember the last time I saw a bat on the server. The first thing I did was explore the wilderness for a few hours to make sure my suspicion was correct. I looked all over in both old chunks and new ones. Even with tracers on leading me to passive mobs, I couldn't find a single bat after many hours of searching. In a single player world, you'd be able to find bats pretty much instantly so I knew this was something I had to get to the bottom of. When I started looking into it more, I found that others had noticed this phenomenon as well. I quickly got into contact with two of the server's most experienced base hunters, Skuller G and Courier 6. Both of them have traveled far and wide across the server for many years in search of old bases. With the amount of chunks they've traveled through, they had to have seen a bat. Skuller G got back to me first and said the last time he saw one was 2017, five years ago, and hadn't seen one since. Courier 6 mentioned that the last time he saw a bat was in a mob museum that he managed to discover at an old base, but the entire thing was destroyed in 2018, so it's safe to assume the bat perished during the grief. It was starting to sound like there were no bats left on the server at all, and based on the testimony, this has been a problem for many years. There had to be a reason they no longer spawned. Now, there's a few theories as to why. Because 2B2T is such an old server, and the map file size is measured in terabytes, it requires some insane plugins to continue working. The server's admin, Housemaster, has been known to limit mob spawning in the past, such as preventing more than four withers from spawning in a single chunk, and even having passive mobs like mushrooms spawn in lower numbers. The most common theory is that a plugin prevents bats from spawning in order to eliminate lag. In the Java edition of Minecraft, bats actually have a higher spawn rate around Halloween due to requiring less darkness, but even this has not been enough for them to spawn. Because the inner workings of 2B2T are kept very hush-hush, it's hard to find out more, but it was clear that bats had not been spawning for at least the past five years, and I knew I wasn't going to find my answer by just searching chunks on the server. So I got into contact with the 256K Project, one of the largest data collection programs ever done 
to study 2B2T. A while back, a group of players working together managed to archive, download, and analyze every single chunk surrounding the spawn region, going out 128,000 blocks in each direction. By using flight exploits, they were able to world download all the terrain they flew over in a grid pattern, and much of this was done by programs automatically. The data they've managed to compile from these chunks has been fascinating. Not only could they tell me which version of Minecraft specific terrain was generated in, but they managed to find some really odd things as well, such as a wither skull that had traveled over 1 million blocks straight up in the air without despawning, and random gas fireballs out in the middle of nowhere. But what I was interested in was the tally of every single mob that they found. They could actually tell me how many bats were still out there. Now, out of millions and millions of chunks downloaded, how many bats do you think were found in all of them? Just take a guess right now as a casual viewer. Well, the answer shocked me. 13. Out of millions of chunks, 13 bats. And that's it. I knew bats were facing extinction, but I didn't think the number would be that low. Now, here's where it gets really bizarre. Almost all of these bats were found in the same specific conditions, in an ocean biome, underground, near a mineshaft, specifically with chests in them, not minecart chests. The last time these types of mineshafts generated was Java version 1.4, 10 years ago. Called the Pretty Scary Update at release, 1.4 is when bats were first introduced into the game. So this implies all 13 of these bats were a decade old. One of the leaders of the project, Lamp, told me the group had a few theories regarding this low number of bats. It's possible that bats generated during this time had a special property that prevented them from despawning like other passive mobs. It also might be that bats just stopped spawning entirely once the server updated to version 1.5. But here is where things take a tragic turn. After this discovery was made, members of the group traveled to the coordinates of each of the 13 bats to name tag them, preserve them, and keep them safe. But when they arrived at the mine shafts, the bats were gone. They had despawned, even though they had originally been recorded in the world downloads. All 13 had vanished, except for one, Dingbat. The only one that was name tagged, which prevented it from despawning. As it stands right now, Dingbat is the last known surviving bat on 2B2T, and the only thing standing between its species and extinction. Many years ago, an unknown player found it and probably name tagged it in a mineshaft as a joke, not realizing it would eventually become the oldest surviving bat on the server. The group rejoiced that they hadn't gone fully extinct, but it was bittersweet. Even if two had survived, it wouldn't do any good since bats cannot produce offspring in Minecraft. This major discovery led to a very important question. Is Dingbat truly the last one on the server? There had to be others out there, right? Well, assuming there isn't an undiscovered base out there with a mob museum similar to the one Courier found, there is still hope for the flying mammal. Outside of the recorded area of the 256k world download, there are plenty of chunks that exist that were generated in version 1.4. If you travel farther out, hypothetically, some should still exist in the conditions we mentioned, under an ocean and near a mineshaft with chests in it, not minecart chests. But keep in mind, that finding one, even in these conditions, will still be incredibly rare. So I'm calling on all 2B2T players to do their part. If you stumble across old 1.4 chunks and you happen to find a bat, name tag it immediately and keep it safe. There's a chance Housemaster may tweak mob spawning in the future allowing them to return, but it seems unlikely. The bat is not fully extinct on 2B2T yet, but without conservation efforts by the community, it will be. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and follow my socials. 
Only together can we save these majestic digital animals.